So what about this obsession with Ram and this frenzy over the Ram temple? I wouldn't use those words, they're very strong words, obsession, frenzy, all this. Because if somebody has to be an inspiration after seven, eight thousand years, for millions and millions of people, there must be something. Coming to the Ram temple, Supreme Court has settled it. So people who love him want to build a temple, it is devotion. Why should it be termed as frenzy and obsession? Isn't it divisive? Why is it divisive? Because it cuts across two communities. Really? It's been a bloody tale, a tale of killings, a tale of riots. What's happened in the last 800 years is the bloodiest tale that's ever happened in any part of the world ever. What happened to the Jews with Adolf Hitler? What happened to Native Americans with North America? What happened in Cambodia, all these things are nothing compared to what happened in India in these 800 years. And if you don't think that is bloody, and there is no any kind of remorse in people who committed those things, then just people want a small piece of real estate back for their asta, and that is divisive. Why is it divisive? I mark that you're using the word real estate and not temple. Is that deliberate? It is, it is real estate, but temple is built by devotees' hearts. The land is just real estate, but it's sacred for them because it is identified as a birthplace and obviously there's no question mark whether there was a temple or not.